how will the transition now look like in terms of areas of focus, etc. And secondly, in, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Mr. Ganapati Subramaniam achieves superannuation next year. What are the succession plans there? So, Tushar, uh, let's talk about this transition. Uh, this is not uh, rocket science. As I said, uh, both of us have worked together a lot. And our teams are also very uh, stable. Uh, so, I don't expect this transition to be something very dramatic or uh, anything. But uh, we owe it to, as I said, our customers. We owe it to our colleagues, our employees, uh, and all other stakeholders uh, to do that diligently and uh, you know uh, to be there to talk about it 99 percent of what we say if not 100 percent is not something that will come as a surprise to them but it is important that uh, we do that and uh, we will invest that time and effort and travel and do whatever it requires to both to thank people to pay respect to them and also to make sure that uh, they have a first-hand uh, opportunity to do that connect so overall, I don't expect it to be uh, anything uh, major, but it is something that has to be done and we intend to do it uh, diligently. Uh, as far as NGS goes, uh, you know, one year, one and a half years is quite a lot of time and uh, in the appropriateness of time, I'm sure that will also get discussed. Okay. Uh, Mr. Kutikasan, uh, congratulations on your role. Thank you. Uh, so what are your plans now for the BFSI vertical? So now that you're moving on to a bigger role, uh, what would be your focus area? Uh, are you going to expand the business further? How is what would be the strategy? Uh, what be in what will be the strategy in terms of leadership and the business at large, especially in the in the US in the aftermath of the SVB collapse? No, like uh, as I said, from a overall BFSA perspective. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, Bita. Yeah. Yeah. From a BFSI perspective, like uh, we will think to go, go look at the plans. Like we will discuss with the team. We'll discuss with Rajesh and Chandra and how we have to handle that. Probably you'll you'll get to hear uh, sooner than later. Okay. But uh, again, the point I want to stress is TCS has always been an organization built on a continuous evolutionary approach. And we had great set of leaders coming in from, and uh, we've been blessed with a one team culture who our associates are always willing to step in for the sake of organization. So uh, we will we look at what is the best way. Uh, there are uh, so many leaders available for us. We will look at uh, what is the best way to reorganize ourselves as required. And, and, and again, like Rajesh was mentioning for some other question, we don't expect any dramatic change in terms of how we are going to reorganize. And in terms of uh, priorities and strategies, as I mentioned before, uh, the, what we would focus on is a core principle, like uh, strategy and priority will uh, we'll tweak as we go along every year. The core principle is work closely with the customers, ensure of, of, of look, look out for what their needs are uh, as proactively as possible, go to them with the solutions and work with our associates who have been the bedrock of our success and go meet all of them and ensure uh, how well we can see they are a great set of associates we have in fact uh, our role is to ensure we remove the hurdles in front of them so that uh, they perform very well so that's what we'll continue to do i don't expect or you should not expect to see a great ch strategy change or organizational change coming in future immediately